Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I know you come from heaven above. The Holy Spirit is on the throne. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. And I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Amen, amen, blessings and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor, power and might belong to our God forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Blessings and glory, wisdom, thanks given, and honor, power and mind belong to our God. Forever and ever. Amen. Zebra ko zombra da la bandelia. Ela va la baba rebebia brodos. Rebebe ke berebe berebe ke bara deli bebia brodos. Zege de balaba dalaba deli bebia barado. Everyone, open your mouth and begin to cry to the Lord, the God of heaven, the God of the heaven and the earth. Lord, send down your fire in my body, send your fire into my soul. Rodo robo boko shele bandele bebia. Lop your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, send your fire into my soul, send your fire into my spirit. Oh, rebe rebe be abaradi. Rege de rebe be rebe be abaradi. Zale bandele bebia. Rebe be rebe be be rebe be rebe be be rebe be abaradiya. Maga da bada la baka bala baka bala baka baya. E rubo rebe boko bondo rebe be rebe be abaradish. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Rebe be abaradi. Oh, rebe be rebe be be rebe be rebe be abaradiya. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Zada da da ba lebrende lebebi abaradi. Oh, rebe be rebe be rebe be ya. Eh, rebe be rebe be be rebe be rebe be be rebe be abaradiya. Zada ba da ba ba rebe be abarando lebebios. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Eh, la ban te lebebi abaradiya. Rege de rebe be rebe be be rebe be abaradish. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every satanic conspiracy. Organized against my finances. Say scatter by fire. Open your mouth and turn the fire. Every conspiracy of wickedness against my finances. I say scatter by fire. Zelebande lebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebeb
Oh raba rebe be kabarande rebe bio rebe be rebe be ke rebe bia baradia jada raba rebe be rebe be ke rebe bia rege de rebe be rebe be rebe be ke rebe bia raba rebe be ke rebe be rebe be ke rebe be rebe bia rebe be rebe be ke rebe be rebe be ke rebe bia a kabarada raba rebe bia i say scatter by fire libra do rebe be rebe be ke rebe be rebe bian every gada brando shila balabaya open your mouth and begin to thunder fire let the gathering of the wicked against my life be scattered let it be abolished, let it be destroyed. Uh, every evil conspiracy against my finances as a scatter by fire. I break it by fire, I break it by fire, I break it by fire by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to declare. Let the counsel of the devil against your life be broken by the blood. Let it break by fire. Every conspiracy against your destiny. Every conspiracy against your marriage. Every conspiracy against your ministry. Every conspiracy against your finances. Let them scatter by fire. Oh, Rebbe, 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 Bia, Barandia. Bless the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Rabba, Rebbe, 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 it tended to bless me. Man, brother, I take it back by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. I take back every blessing, every blessing that the enemy. Every blessing that belongs to me, I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back by the blood of Jesus. I take it back by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Rabba Barabebega Barabebia Barandi. Zedebedesh. E Gabando Rabba Barabebia. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Zedebede Rebebe Rebebega Barandia. Rabba Barabebega Barabebia Barandi. Eh, Rebebe Rebebega Barabebe Rebebia Barandi. Malaban de Lebebe Rebebe Rebebia Barandi. Oh, Rabba Barabebega Barabebia Barandi. Zedebando Rebebe Rebebia Barandi. Oh, Rabba Barabebega Barabebia. Let the blood be released over our lives, over our soul, over our spirit, in the name of Jesus, that the counsels of the devil, every plan, every evil strategy, a brother to attack our destiny, to attack our finances, Lord, let our power be broken and be destroyed. Let the power of the devil over your life be broken by the power and the blood. 
do rebe rebe be ke rebe bi abara dia raba ba rebe be ke rebe be rebe dia zambra da raba ba ka bara do rebe dia e rebe do rebe be rebe be ke rebe be ka bara dia we dismantle we destroy the workings of the devil every plan and every assignment that has been disposed and be released against your life let the plan the evil counsel be scattered let it be broken let it be destroyed abolished by the blood of jesus rebe be be ka ban to raba ba rebe be ka bara dia zomble de le be le be ya bara dia rebe ya Blessings to your holy name. I will give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. In the name of Jesus, what a mighty God. Mon brother, Rabaka Zombra de Librandi Katu Zaban Talada. E Rubu du Rubu Burbebega Baradi. Jelebra du Rubebe Rebebega Berbebe Rebebia Baradi. Rebebe Rebebega Berbebe Rebebega Berbebia. Mambra da Rebebe Rebebega Berbebe Rebebia Baradi. In the name of Jesus. I bless your name, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your love, for your power, for your presence. There is none like unto him. In the name of Jesus, what a mighty God. We give you the praise. It's the same yesterday, the same today, and it's forever. Hallelujah. Let's go right now and say every foundational attack. Every foundational attack. Every attack from my foundation. Every attack from my foundation. Against my day of glory. Against my day of glory. Scatter by fire. Every foundational attack against my day of glory. I say scatter by fire, scatter by fire. Every network of the devil, Libron do Zobra da Ribia, let it scatter. Let it scatter, let it scatter. Mando Rabba Barbebia Bradi. Zelebando Rabba Barbebia Bradi. El Rocodo Rabba Barbebeca Barbebia Bradi. Zelebra de Rebebe 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 Spirit of God, Librando Rebebe Rebebe Yabaradi, Rebebe 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 Every evil plan, every evil plot, we cancel, we scatter, we destroy by the power in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Oh, blessings to your holy name, brother Rabbaka, Rebebe, Rebebe, Manadi. Zelebrando Rebebe, Abaradi. Rebebe, 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 In the name of Jesus, say, fire of the Holy Spirit, fill my life afresh. Fill me with fresh fire. Fire of God, fill me with fresh afresh. Fill me, O God, fill me afresh. Lebrando Rebebe, 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 Orgo, Rebebe, 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 Abaradi. Lord, send your fire into my soul. Send your fire into my spirit. Rebebe, <laughs> 
In Jesus' name we pray. Finally, you're going to ask God every good door that has been closed against you, let that door be opened now. Every good door that was shut against your life. Spirit of God, let the door open. Let the door open. Let the door open. Let the door open. Go ahead and begin to pray. Every good door closed against my life today must open. Must open. Must open. Must open. Must open. Ego rebe 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 in the name of Jesus. What a mighty God. What a glorious God. Hallelujah. And some of you are blessed. Amen. Darling, uh, joining us even this morning. Hallelujah. Amen and amen and amen. amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you the praise and the glory. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. He's the same yesterday, today, and is forever. Hallelujah. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. Worship is all in end. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul, I worship your name. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul. Oh, my soul. I worship his holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul, I worship your holy name. I will worship your holy name. I will worship your leaning. Hallelujah. Every power that is turning my helpers against me. Can you see that prayer? Powers turning my helpers against me. Scatter by fire. Open your mouth at under fire. Regede Rebebega Barra Diri Baby O Brondo Sula Bahaya. Every power turning my helpers against me. Scatter by fire. Rebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebeb
What a glorious God. Thank you, my Father. We give you the praise and the glory. Where is the anointing oil? Amen. Hallelujah. Anoint your head again and you begin to decree and declare. Hallelujah. As I anoint my head today, every counsel of the devil against me, every gathering of the wicked against me, every evil power assigned to testify against me, scatter by fire. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. All my enemies uniting against me, scatter by fire. See, as I lay my hands upon my head, every evil gathering. All my enemies uniting for my downfall. Scatter by fire. I say scatter, 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 Libon Talavandelia, Robo Rebebebia Bradi, O Rebebebebia Bradia, O Rabba Rebebebia Bradia, O Rabba Rebebia Bradia, Regadebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebeb
And let every plan of the devil of our lives be destroyed. Let the plot of the devil against our life be totally destroyed in the name of Jesus. Oh, Rebibia Barandere Bebios. Ele Brandore Bebia Barandere Bebios. Hallelujah. We're going to open our Bible to the book of Proverbs, Proverbs 29. Amen. Somebody said the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 29. Let's quickly go there. Proverbs to the 29. We bless your name, Jesus. Oh, Libra da Rebecca, Sombra de Rebibio, Brados. Proverbs chapter 29. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody say glory to God. One of the things that we have to deal with in this season. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Zeleba rodo bradadi divriyakaradosh. Om Branda Rababa Rababa Kasada Badabadosh. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. We want to be very, very, very careful um, towards what we are planning in this season. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say glory. Somebody shout glory. I want to share something with you um, that, uh, you know, God is laying in my heart. Um, he says in verse 22, Proverbs 29, verse 22. Proverbs 29, verse 22. An angry man stirred up strife, and a furious man abounded in transgression. Hallelujah. I want to deal with the spirit of anger. Amen. The spirit of rage and the spirit of anger. Hallelujah. The spirit of uh, anger. Hallelujah. It's a spirit that um, <clears throat> has affected a lot of destinies. Amen. Really wrecked a lot of destinies, wrecked a lot of uh, um, people who are giants and brings them very, very low. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hmm. Somebody said the spirit of anger. It's a terrible, 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 terrible force. And we're going to be dealing with that. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray that, Lord, you open your word in our eyes. I pray that you speak to us. I pray in the name of Jesus that, Lord, <laughs> that you will begin to minister to our hearts, our spirits. I pray that, Spirit of God, a revelation will flow freely in the name of Jesus Christ. Lebre de lebre bebi apai, mambro do robo boko shile banda le bebi a, rebe bebe bebe bebi a su su zum zamda handa, elebe le bebi a baradosh. I pray in the name of Jesus that the power of the Holy Spirit we overshadow us in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say fire. Somebody shout fire. Hmm. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. One of the things that we deal with nowadays, and this is the spirit that we have to deal with, is is anger. 
Anger is what the enemy has been stirring us up, and we project, and it begins to release, even when I mean, it was something that we have to take control. Anger is one of the, it's a, it's a hot emotions that if we don't take control over it, it can bring us very, it can bring us low, it can bring us to the place of danger. Amen. Hallelujah. Ah, Barado Zumbra de baby. See, let me just, I want to, I'm there's a place I'm, I want to go. Hallelujah. Hmm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Libro do robo boko shida bada bada bas. E kalada la bas undorios. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. This is where I'm going to. Praise God. Now, we've come to a serious time in destiny. Amen. Many of us are being influenced by every kind of spirits. Amen. And one of the scriptures that keeps jumping on me in this hour is this. Hallelujah. They said, he that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. He that ruleth his spirit is he that ticket is, uh, is he, <laughs> he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh the whole city. Hallelujah. I'm reading from the uh, King James Version of uh, Proverbs chapter 16, uh, verse 32. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. He that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh a whole city. Hallelujah. Taketh what? A whole city. Glory be to the living God. These are, this, 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 to rule over your spirit is to subdue and control the spirit of anger. The spirit of anger can arise when you least expect. The spirit of anger, a word can, a word can erupt that spirit of anger. The spirit of anger usually flows within the bloodline. Amen. Just like the father was angry, just like the mother was angry, you become to get angry. There are people that get angry and there are people that get angry silently, silently. In fact, the silent ones are the most dangerous ones. Amen. Cain was a man who was very angry explosively, amen, but it was kept within his heart. Nobody knew he was angry except God. Hallelujah. Those are the dangerous ones. Those ones that begin to imagine evil against you because of their anger. So those ones that says, how can a young child, amen, hallelujah, amen, the, the father's car began to slow down, the father's car, everything dead, hallelujah, the man was paralyzed, amen, could not walk, there was a wheelchair. Hallelujah. And so finally they go brought the man of God, uh, the man of they brought the man of God to pray for them in the house. The man of God began to pray for this family. And eventually this boy began to confess. And uh, began to confess. And said that she he's the one that is in charge of every problem in the house. Why are you in charge? Why what did you do? He said, Well, when my sister got first position, I uh, realized my dad starts giving them a lot of meat. And he gave me meat. So from that day, he began to afflict the, the, the uh, He began to afflict the father. He said he began to drive the father's car in the demon in the coven. And as a result of that, the father's car could not function on the earth. Hallelujah! Could not function on the earth. The thing went kaput. Same thing. It went kaput. Was not working. Hallelujah! And uh, so also too, uh, the sister. He began to attack the sister's uh, brain and um, exchange her brain with sawdust, filled with sawdust, hallelujah, meaning with a lot of chipped wood. And so the, 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 the sister's brain, who was functioning very sharp in the spirit, began to descend, disintegrate. Uh, and, and I'm, you know, when I heard such things, I said, is it, is such wickedness, do they still exist? Hallelujah. Such wickedness, do they still exist? Hallelujah. Glory to God. But, amen, this is prophecy. These are the things that are still happening. Hmm. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But I tell you something. Something is about to happen, even in our life and destiny. The God is about to arise with his anger and his rage, so that every plan of the wicked against your life will totally be broken and be destroyed. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Zebros, that he be a bias. Oh, Robo Boda be a baradish. Zede Barabaya Brados. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Hallelujah. So, in this scripture we're going to be looking at is um, when a man cannot control his temper and his anger. Let me say some something. There is a rock of offense that the enemy is doing now. The enemy sees that man are becoming uh, again the understanding of heaven and the earth. And every man wants to make it in life. But the devil sometimes, we, what we do is to impart or to place upon you the rock of offense. There is a rock of offense that the enemy usually will place in the heart of man. When this rock of offense comes upon you, you won't even know. But one of the things is that it makes your heart, it, it, it changes your heart from being tender to a hardiness of the heart. And once your heart has been hardened by this rock of offense, something begins to take place. Hallelujah. What's going on there? Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Is everything okay? Mambra da Rebabosa. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Look at what it says. And a godly man digged up evil, and in his lips there is a burning fire. 20, verse 27. Verse 27. Verse 27. Of that same chapter, Proverbs chapter 16, verse 27. And ungodly man did get up evil, and is in his lips there is a burning fire. Hallelujah. And that is why sometimes the Bible says, Do not be a friend with an angry man. Hallelujah. Because there is an evil plot. Amen. Hallelujah. We have to take away that evil seed. Amen. The spirit of anger can deny us from our promise. We see this manifestation that no matter the height of glory, no matter the height of experience you have with God, no matter how you've worked with God, if this spirit of anger is there, it's, it's, it's a dead, it's a spirit that will open evil doors against your life. It is a spirit that closed, amen, Moses, denied Moses from the promised land. Hallelujah. It was the spirit that came in that interfered with the relationship between Moses and God. Hallelujah. When the spirit is upon you, it begins to connect you down to your roots. The Bible says that from the Moses, where he was from, his family, they got angry very easily. Hallelujah. Do you get angry like your father? Do you get angry like your mother? Do you get angry among your siblings? Amen. Hallelujah. How is your temper? How is your anger level? Hallelujah. Now, this is the area. This is the dark area in your soul. This is the area that needs to be delivered. Amen. If this spirit can get out of your soul, you are the right person. Hallelujah. No matter... Everybody has been be, 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 be connected or addicted by the spirit, has been bound by the spirit of anger. Today, in the name of Jesus Christ, wherever the spirit has held you bound, tied you down, amen, manifesting before your helpers, manifesting at the wrong time, manifesting at the time of your breakthrough, in the name of Jesus Christ, I disconnect that spirit from you now by the power in the Holy Ghost. I command that the chains of anger binding your spirit release you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command it to be released from your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the powers of anger over your life break from you in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree that by the power of the blood. Listen to me. It's, this is a spirit. It's a dark spirit that begins to manifest. Even when you want to experience his presence, you want to experience his glory. The enemy begins to cause, his, cause all kinds of offense. Every time you see, every time you, how do you notice and how do you, uh, how do you notice when your breakthrough is around the corner? How do you also notice when the devil is around the corner? When your breakthrough is around the corner, it's when the devil gets close to you. And when he gets close to you, it's because he sees your testimony is coming. Every time he sees your testimony coming, it begins to create a sense of offense around your life. There are various, there are various things that trigger offenses in our, in our heart. Various things. Hallelujah. Various, various aspects. Amen. Number one, if you've not slept, if you've denied yourself sleep, if you've not slept for a while, one little thing can get you very sensitive and get, can get you off and get you very offended because you have not relaxed your body. Amen. Once your body is relaxed, amen, hallelujah, you will not be vulnerable to deep anger. Hallelujah. Some of us are not relaxed. We have not rested well. And that is why, amen, every little thing we get offended. That's number one. Hallelujah. Amen. Number two, you must be connected to his presence. Somebody say to his presence. Hallelujah. Somebody say to his presence. You must be connected to his presence. If you're not connected to his presence, you will never experience his glory. And so when you're not connected to his presence, the more you stay out of his presence and you stay in the outer darkness, the Bible says in thy presence is the fullness of joy. Amen. At the, at the, pleasure, the, uh, at the right hand, there are the pleasures evermore. 
Amen. Hallelujah. So some of us, every time we stay out of God's presence, every time we are out of there, we can experience the fullness of joy. We are always in sorrow, always in depression. And in that area, we get very, very agitated, very easily. Because there are some spirits that are as gaining access to us because we are not abiding in the secret place of the Lord. Amen. How must you connect? If you must connect and experience and to begin to walk in the flow of the Lord, hallelujah, you must abide in His presence. Amen. You must also be a worshiper. Without worship, you will always walk in anger. Amen. Somebody say anger. Anger is a hot emotion that if you is allowed, Amen. If anger is allowed in your life, I mean, sorry, uh, if you don't worship God, amen, anger can begin to manifest in your life. Anger, 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 anger. Number, amen, hallelujah. Number two, um, you must understand also too. Let me say this to you. You must understand. If your father or your mother is operating in serious anger, and you also operating in serious anger, Come to that place whereby you say every evil soul tie covenant, evil soul tie covenant, binding me to my mother. I break that soul tie now. What is a soul tie? It's a mind, the will, and the emotions that controls, that influences your will, just like your mother, influences your mother, just like you. Hallelujah. But when that soul tie is broken or separated, you guys are. The, that spirit that influences your mother like you will be suddenly broken and the Lord will begin to empower you. Hallelujah. There is a spirit in the bloodline. There is a spirit, our sister spirit that has been released in the bloodline to influence you like you influenced your mother. But today you have to disconnect yourself. Hallelujah. Can you hear me? Somebody say you can't hear nothing on the prayer line. Is that true? Hallelujah. Is that true? On the prayer line, can you hear me? Oh my goodness. Can you hear me, everyone? You can't hear me at all? Oh my goodness. Are you serious? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm so sorry for those on the prayer line. Join us on Periscope. Hallelujah. Let me see what I can do. Hold on a second. Oh boy, how do I do this thing? Ah? Huh? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, brother Rabba, Shake le bandele bosula bandele bebe a paradis. What is this? That's why. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry for everyone today. Hallelujah. Can you hear me now? Oh, Jesus. So sorry about that. Amen. So sorry about that. Glory to God. That was why everybody were wondering. Thank you, Lord Jesus. All right. Amen. Sorry about that. Now we are back. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So what I was saying, I said the spirit of anger is a spirit, amen, that affects not only the brother, the father, the mother, but it affects those in the bloodline. You come from a family that is expresses so much of anger uncontrollable anger burning anger just like the father the mother the son you realize that even your children can even flow in that same thing so what do you do have you realized that sometimes when your father or your mother come around soon after you leave them you begin to think like them you begin to operate like them you begin to talk like them hallelujah that's why you have to pray seriously that every power of the devil use spirit evil soul tie binding me connecting me to my family every evil soul tie i break myself free every evil soul tie covenant binding me to my family connecting me to my family i break myself free do you understand that prayer i break myself free from that evil soul tie covenant hallelujah and so this is what we have to be praying hallelujah and you see the spirit of anger, you can always notice when the spirit of anger is in operation. Thank you, Lord Jesus. When the spirit of anger is in operation. Hallelujah. You must understand that for you to totally subdue the spirit of anger, you must be in his presence. You must also ask God to infuse and to fill you up with the spirit of joy. Hallelujah. 
The spirit of anger can arise when a man begins to act ungodly towards us. When a man begins to act dishonest towards us. When a man begins to cheat us. When a man begins to see us, see, see, I mean, when a man begins to see us small before their eyes. Hallelujah. So when a man begins to show dishonesty, a man doesn't, it's not, it does not show us honor, then it causes us to begin to operate in rage. Hallelujah. And so we have to really be very, very careful when the spirit is trying to manifest. Sometimes you can be the realm of the spirit and be very sensitive in God. And all of a sudden, the enemy brings the spirit of offense. I, hear, I, hear, I heard about a story of a man, an occultic uh, man who is not delivered, who is not a believer, a Christian. And he was sharing a report or a story or a testimony of how when he was in the world and who was, when he was doing uh, his traditional uh, demonic priestly role and empowering evil over the lives of people. Uh, people will come, clients will come needing help. Uh, and, then, and then he want to do a sacrifice and sometimes when it's against a Christian he can't really do it hallelujah because it's very very hard uh, to bring down a Christian to attack a Christian according to he, what he said but he said that what he usually do is that he, 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 there was a particular sister he was trying to bring down but this sister that he was trying to bring down there was a light of God around his sister and there was also an angel around his sister so what they do is that he tried to use unbelievers to offend her, but she would not, she would not comply. So because she is used, she knows, she expects that that unbeliever will not be godly. And she expects that that unbeliever will challenge her or that will be used by the devil. So she, she was ready to prepare herself. So he not tried to use a, 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 a believer to provoke that sister. And the sister did not expect that because his sister was expecting that sister to be holy and to be godly. But that day, she lost her temper over that sister and she was so rageful and so angry. Amen? See, that sister went to bed without even reconciling with the other sister. When she went to bed, hallelujah, this thing was so heavy. This, 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 this anger was so heavy that it opened the door the wall of fire that was around the sister every time, and the angel that was always around the sister, slow down. Because this, 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 this agent of the devil said, said that every time she looked at the sister, there was a wall of fire around her. There was a wall of fire around her, about her and there was an angel with a sword going around her. But because of this, she slowed down. The angel slowed down. Hallelujah. The angel slowed down. After this offense was in the heart of the sister. And then the, the Bible says he that break the edge, him with the serpent bite. And then the snake went into and beat her in the realm of the spirit. And then the attack started. The, what, the, what the lady did not know is that the devil was looking for the opportunity to use anger to open the door to her salvation. To open the door to attack her. Remember this. Every time we are praying, we are covered with the realm of the spirit covered in glory the element of salvation the shield of faith there's a bright light that covers us all these helmets the element of salvation the shield of faith the breastplate of righteousness all these are the armor of light or you might say the armor of glory amen and so all these are shields in the spirit but these are lights that is encompassing around us Amen. These are lights around us. So when the enemy begins to anger, it's one of the hottest dark emotions ever. When a man begins to walk in total rage and total anger, it is a dark cloud. Are you hearing me? It's a dark cloud that comes, that opens, that it's like a, uh, it's like worship. When we worship God, it's a, or prayer, it's like a pure incense and aroma that goes before the throne of God. And it begins to attract angels. When it's inhaled, it's divine and it's holy. It connects to divinity. Now, anger is the opposite. When anger is being expressed, it's like a burning acid that goes before the second heaven. Not, not the third heaven. Second heaven. And as is the darkness of our soul, when it begins to go, there's a chimney that comes from you. 
So there's a dark smoke that begins to ascend. As it begins to ascend, it begins to cause a disfiguration of the glory within you. It begins to eat up your holy garments. This anger begins to open the demonic portal and invites the spirit of affliction, the spirit of oppression, the spirit of evil against your life. This is at this time that an, a demonic alarm is ringed in the spirit. And the flesh begins to grrr, like scream. It's at that time that every kind of thing that is called carnal and everything that is called fleshy is attracted towards you. That energy begins to magnetize negativity towards you. Anger. To the extent that if you don't control it, even when you leave your house, you see that everything is getting making you angry. Everything, everything. And so at this realm, if you don't control it, you realize that the devil is wanting that to continue so that the angels and because the moment you stop the anger your angels are reactivated the moment you stop the anger the light is activated and that gate that was once opened for entry is now closed so the enemy cannot have access into your life somebody getting something here but the moment you switch on to anger you've now switched out of god you know when you want to be comfortable to God, he that walks with he, when you walk in love, you walk in God, right? Okay. Anger is different. Anger is not love. Anger is hate. When you begin to operate in anger, you're walking in hate, not not love. So once 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 you're walking in hate now, you come under the rule of Satan. You've stepped out of the domain of God. You stepped into another camp. Hallelujah. At that place, when you begin to you're not under the operation of the devil. Anything that the devil says towards you and any activity done against your life can happen. Until you switch camp, repent, ask God for the blood, break his activities, break the powers of hell that was released against you through that anger, break it, cancel it, destroy it, cover your soul, release whatever spirit or strangers that entered your soul through anger. That's why it's dangerous. I don't know why ladies do this a lot. I see it's very, very common with ladies and sometimes with men too. But you can never get angry, you get so angry, and then you go to bed immediately. That is a great mistake you want to do. You get angry, immediately you get into your bed. You get straight to bed and you sleep. Somebody says, I'm having a headache because I'm angry. And then I have to go to bed to relax. You're a joker. You're only... The devil, the Bible says the devil came to kill, steal, and destroy. Why men slept? The enemy came to so tired. He doesn't so tired when you are awake. He will plant more offenses in your heart. Make your heart more hardened. Make your heart responsive to anger so that by the time God wants to do something, he can use anger remotely to cancel everything intended for your life. A man or a woman can lose their marriage because of a serious anger. Anger can scatter your character. Anger can chase away your helpers. Hallelujah. I know of people who are very nice but when the anger comes my jesus there are different kind of anger i've seen different kind of angers and I've, I've been privileged to even be close friends of those who operate in serious anger there's a particular brother who i know is from cambodia i remember when my pastor and myself were in you know were in this guy's house and we were talking and we got into a serious argument or heated argument, not really heated argument, argument about the government, about such and such. The guy got so angry, and we thought he was going to the restroom. He just took his dining table chair, slammed it on the table. Brr, the whole thing scattered. Went into his room and banged the door. He didn't shout on us, he didn't scream. He just kept quiet, walked gently. While leaving the, <laughs> his, 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 the living room, he went to his uh, kitchen and took the chair and he slammed it on the table. The whole thing scattered and then he went to his room. Myself and the pastor looked at each other like, are we daydreaming? What is this? I remember a woman who was so happy with her kids, four of them, they, they did well and she was always happy with them, gave them food. The very next day, in the afternoon around two o'clock i don't know what happened whether she was upset at work she was coming from work she got into the house 
always to see the kids were playing some games and the dishes were not washed. They were playing the computer games. She got so offended. I don't know what happened. So offended. I believe she has not slept. I believe she was in traffic. She was just offended. She just took the whole computer that she bought over two thousand dollars, whatever. Bought, took you know, took the whole computer and slammed it on the ground. The old children say, "Mommy, mommy, don't, no, no, no!" Slammed it. It didn't get destroyed. She took it, went outside, got in the apartment, threw it on the ground, and the whole thing scattered. I said, "What is this?" You mean you're allowing your anger to break to such level? Do you know that she got so angry, she went to bed. When she woke up, she starts crying. Why did I destroy this computer? I'm looking at her like, are you okay? This is the computer you just destroyed, and now you are crying to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are many people that do this nonsense. There are many people that fall into this category. You will wonder, Moses, why did you blow it? Moses did not know that that was the day that God had said, if this guy gets angry, I won't let him enter the promised land. If this guy decides that this is Moses who has denied, who has told his family to stay behind, this is, a, this, is a, this is the guy who has put the people ahead of his family. He was not so much intimate with his wife. He told them to stay with his father-in-law. Let him take care of these millions of people. And these same millions of people begin to turn their back against Moses. Moses was too offended that he struck twice when the Lord asked him to speak. And God said, because he did it, he will not enter the promised land. If Moses would have said, sorry, Lord, I'm so sorry for what I did. I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. Maybe God would have given him another chance. Maybe God would have given because God was a merciful God. But that day, Moses, remember this, Israelites was the one that God was angry. God wanted to destroy the Israelites. Moses says, if it is possible, blot my name from the book of life. Blot my name out from the book of life. And now, he wasn't able to intercede for God's mercy. Anger stepped in. The devil was looking for how to make the humblest man on the earth to get so angry. He was looking for how to erupt what affected others in the bloodline to also affect Moses. And so man who had so much favor with God all of a sudden was himself denied. The man who God fought for, the man who God stood up for, for anyone who spoke evil about Moses, God began to get angry towards them. In fact, God opened the earth at one point and swallowed those who spoke against Moses. But there was the time that Moses too had to face the rage of God. And God can be so terrible that it can destroy even your close helper and your close associates. Let's pray to God today. Let's pray. Let's pray. Our prayer today, our prayer today is asking the Lord. Amen. Asking God in no any, any way that I've allowed the spirit of anger in my life to operate. Spirit of God, destroy every seed at the root of anger. Operating in my body, operating in my soul, operating in my spirit. Lord, break and dismantle every spirit of anger. Go ahead and begin to pray. Say, my father, by your mercy, deliver me from the spirit of anger. Oh, Rebebege Bia Baradia. Man, deliver the Rebebega Baradio Rebebios. Lord, from deliver me, O God, from the spirit of anger. Zada Rabba Rabba Bakashe, deliver and deliver Bia Barado. My father, my father. Lord, deliver me from the spirit of anger by the power in the Holy Ghost. 
Let the spirit of anger over my life and destiny, let it break by fire. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Say every root of anger in my blood and in that of my children. I pull you out by fire. Every root of anger in my blood and that of my children, in that of my family, I pull you out. Let the spirit of anger Go ahead and begin to pray. Every spirit, every root of anger operating in my life be destroyed by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Say, My Father, my Father. Hmm. Every weapon of anger used by the devil to influence my life and destiny, to influence my life and destiny, break by fire. Every weapon of anger used by the enemy to influence my destiny. I say break by fire. Let the weapon of anger used by the devil against my life to manipulate my sources, manipulate my destiny, influence my emotions. Your powers of anger. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you the praise. Hallelujah. Blessings to your holy name. Say, my father, my father. Crown me with divine favor. By your favor, crown me, O God. Open your mouth and fire prayer. O God, crown me with your favor. Rodo <laughs> 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It is well. God bless everyone today. Are you blessed today? Hallelujah. Probably from next week or this week. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't worry. So many things will be adjusted so that we can really enjoy what the Lord has for us today. In the name of Jesus, glory be to the living God. I decree that every assignment and every plan of the devil for your life today is hereby totally destroyed by the power in the Holy Ghost. May the favor of the hand of the Lord be upon you and your family. I decree you will grow, grow, grow from glory to glory and from grace to grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power in the Holy Ghost, it is well with your soul. I say it is well with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless everyone today. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a honor coming to you on the prayer line today to be a blessing. You are loved by the power in the Holy Ghost. Write me, reach out to me. Amen. My number is 612-701-5983. 612-701-5983. Hallelujah. I pray that, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that the spirit of anger breaks from your life and that of your family and that of your children. May you be delivered totally. God bless you, my sister. Hallelujah. God bless everyone today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 612-701-5983. You want to also join the WhatsApp? Send me a text. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I will love you guys. I want to be, be strong. Let's share the grace. The grace of our love, Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of God forever and ever. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Um, any other, is there any questions? Any quick question before we go? Hallelujah. Praise God. All right. God bless you. We will talk again. Bye-bye. Yagadarabase de 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 de